Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the differences between wired network and wireless network. Okay, so the first thing is that please concentrate for two minutes guys because this concept is really easy. But there is a chance that you might be confused with some of the terminology. So that is the reason why please concentrate for two minutes and you will be clear with this topic. Okay. Yes. So wired network and wireless. So wired means that there is a connection, right? between your system and the internet service provider or someone guys i'll be taking the example of wired and wireless with respect to internet guys because that is the simple way you can understand this really easily okay whereas a wireless so your device is there and it is giving wi-fi and your mobile is connected to it okay yes so in wired we will be having a high bandwidth okay so basically our first question will be so first of all what is this bandwidth i'm always uh, i'll always live with, listen this bandwidth word but i never got the idea of this word okay so few of you might be like that right yes so basically bandwidth is a nothing but the speed at which the data transfer occurs guys so assume that you have an internet in your home so basically i'm giving with respect to my home internet guys okay yes so in terms of data download speed i'll be getting around 10 mbps on my pc guys okay so which is connected directly with the ethernet okay yes but whereas coming to mobile my mobile will maximum get 1 mbps it is really rare also i'll be getting around 250 to 300 kbps per second on my mobile directly okay so if i keep any kind of download you can say okay yes so the wired connection as it is having a particular wire so the data there is no option for it so it will be continuously going in that particular path so that is the reason why we are having high bandwidth guys so the data transmit rate is fast Similarly, when we come to wireless, so there is no wire, so that the signals should go in all the directions. So basically, with that particular reason, the weakness of the signal will also increase. So basically, if I sit beside my Wi-Fi modem, I'll be getting a bit faster, more speed. If I sit in some other room, I'll be getting less speed. So this speed will also depend on the distance, how much distance you are there. So basically, there are multiple factors and you can directly say that the bandwidth when compared to wired in wireless, it is low guys. Okay, so the next is a nothing but bandwidth variation. Okay, so basically assume that at 10 20, okay, 10 seconds, my internet speed is 10 Mbps. Okay, I'm getting a download speed. Okay, so at 10 20, around 15, assume in that way. So my speed might be 9 Mbps or 11 Mbps or something near to 10, right? Yes, but in mobile, we cannot say it, guys. Because we, if we, you are moving and you are even connected to the hotspot, even sometimes you can directly jump from 4G internet to edge. Like it will be giving E, right? Yes. So in this way, so there is a high variation. So there is a high chance of variation of bandwidth also in wired. Okay. Similarly, in, sorry, in wireless, sorry for that. In wireless, there is a chance of high bandwidth variation. Okay. Similarly, in wired, the delay is low because it is really fast, right? So if you open some website, google.com, you'll be getting really fastly. Okay. Yes. So whereas in, if it is a wireless connection, as the speed is also low, so indirectly assume bandwidth as speed only guys. Okay. Yes. So here you will be having some delay. Okay. So in a wired data doesn't require to be encrypted. Okay. So let us assume that you are sending one, some information from one device to another. So for now, I'm not saying any kind of connection here. Okay. So which is wired or wireless. Okay. Yes. So first let us assume wired connection. Okay. So assume that these two are in your home and these two are some laptops you can say. Okay. Yes. So you connected these two laptops with a wire by yourself only. You only connected them. Okay. Okay. So in this situation, do you need to encrypt the data before sending guys? So there is no mandatory, right? So there is no risk like some, some, someone from outside will come and connect his wire here, right? No. So that's not possible, right? So because it's inside your home and you will not allow him to do it, right? Yes. So that is the reason why there is a no need of encrypting the data. But when it comes to wireless, so the whole data will be transmitted at some frequency. Guys, guys we'll be discussing about the frequency and all those terminology later on. So don't worry. So at some particular frequency, it will be uh, transmitting. So assume that it's a word. Okay. Yes. So at some frequency, so assume that you other device will be tuned to that frequency guys. So it can read, listen, whatever that frequency is saying. So in this way, the wireless transmission will occur guys. Okay. Yes. So in this way, so if I assume that you got to know that particular frequency, 
so assume that okay so let us take the radio as example guys so assume you know that 99.97 or something will be giving some frequency right yes so assume that this is the frequency and at this frequency he is sending the data to this guy you are some xyz person okay so these two friends are sharing data but you understood their frequency is this so you can directly tune into that frequency and listen what they are discussing or what data is being transferred so there is a high chance of getting your data leaked so that is the reason why data encryption is a mandatorily needed you can say okay similarly the major disadvantage you can say is in wired is nothing but you need to have some budget so basically if it is in a large scale i'm saying i'm not saying in a small scale to your house so but if you are in a company or if you are in an organization to make everything a wired so even though it is fast but it will take some budget and similarly the installation infrastructure is also take some time guys whereas a wireless you can just buy a modem connect the wifi and you can give a password and you can use it so that much fast it is and it's really a bit cheap when compared to the wired okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about all the differences right okay so bandwidth remember it as a speed guys that will be the simple word and we'll be discussing about the frequency like what are the ranges uh, what is radio wave frequency like that we'll be discussing all of them in our future lectures so don't worry okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about some applications characteristics and disadvantages of mobile computing okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching